continuing our series of tips on pushrod dangers, and I have four items here. Which two of them don't go together? If you picked reciprocating saw and sea snake pushrod, you'd be right. But a surprising number of users have severed their pushrod while cutting out a damaged section of pipe. Now it often makes sense to leave the camera in the line while making a repair, but it comes with a risk because job sites are full of distractions that can make you or your workers forget to pull the camera back out of the work area before you begin your job. So take another look at these four items. Which two do go together? I'd suggest reciprocating saw and marker flag. Use the flag to mark the camera's position before starting the repair. So pull your camera back, locate it, and flag it. The flag gives you and your crew visual confirmation that the camera is not in the work area. If you need to push the camera back into the work area during a repair, pull the flag, do what you need to do, then locate the camera and flag it again. Flagging the camera's position might take a few extra seconds, but it can save you a trip to the repair shop. As always, if you want more information on these tools or how to use them, visit their product pages on rigid.com or stop by the Sea Snake Support website.